Now, let's look at some key quotations that you need to remember when it comes to understanding and analyzing the character of Lenny. Now, of course, always remember that Lenny, whilst he's really powerful, quite large, he has a lot of brute force, he doesn't necessarily know how to wield this. Now, this is illustrated especially his power, but also his lack of awareness on how to wield this power. This is illustrated in this first quotation that describes him in the opening chapters. So Lenny had large pale eyes, ellipsis, wide sloping shoulders. Now the word level analysis you want to do here is firstly when it comes to the adjectives large, pale to describe his eyes, so they're really large, they're really pale, but also the sibilance sloping shoulders. Now the image that perhaps comes to mind when we're reading this description is almost of this Neanderthal type of figure, the kind of image that we see in science books that show the evolution of man, this huge Darwinian figure, so he kind of looks like the pre-evolution figure, this Neanderthal uh, character. And what this shows is that whilst he's really big, he's quite brutish, he also isn't very evolved, okay? Now the second quotation to, uh, to remember for Lenny's character, again tied to his appearance, is when uh, Steinbeck describes him as a bear that drags his paws. So the quotation is, a bear drags his paws. And again, this is a metaphor describing him as a bear. Again, illustrating just how large and how almost fearsome Lenny looks, but actually he's so harmless. And he's harmless because he doesn't know how to wield this power. He's also intellectually impaired, which makes him unable to survive in what is a very brutal, competitive Darwinian environment. The third quotation to remember when it comes to Lenny's character is when he states really hopefully, and especially when George is articulating the dream of them owning a farm with rabbits and with all these creatures, he says, we could live off the fat of the land, okay? And the main thing that uh, you need to remember in terms of word level analysis here is the alliteration of L, so live and land, and of course the metaphor fat of the land, because of course the land doesn't actually have fat, it's more the vegetables and things like that. Now, what this quotation illustrates is just his almost childlike fascination with this dream. He doesn't quite understand the complexities that go into actually building a farm, managing it, running it, making it profitable, being able to you know, farm and uh, protect yourself against the winters. What this quotation illustrates is almost his childlike naivety in this American dream, which makes him both in endearing to us as readers because we quite love Lenny, but also we realize just how incapacitated he is, mentally speaking, to really survive and to understand the complexities of life and the complexities of running a farm. The other quotation to remember when it comes to Lenny's character is when he states to George and they remind each other of the loyalty to each other. He states, I got you to look after me and you got me to look after you. And here, what you want to focus on is the repetition of got, okay? And of course, also you, okay? So this idea, this repetition, it, it, it illustrates kind of in contrast to the other migrant workers, the other migrant laborers who live very solitary, very lonely lives, these lives almost which seem very pointless, nihilistic. George and Lenny have created this very unique brotherly bond and this brotherly bond is what really sustains them through these periods of hardship and this illustrates kind of that love and that paternal almost feeling that George has towards Lenny but also Lenny kind of looks to George almost as a child and they look after each other. The other quotation to remember for Lenny's character is when he actually goes to Crooks's uh, place on the ranch once all the men have gone to the brothel and Crooks is by himself. Now Lenny is very simple minded so he doesn't quite understand the Jim Crow era, he doesn't understand racial segregation and racial separation. Crooks is really taken aback because the reason why he lives separate to the other men is because he's black. He is living in a very racist society that sees him as different and thus separate. Lenny doesn't quite understand this and he asks this simple question. Why aren't you wanted? And of course, in terms of word level analysis here, you want to focus on the idea that it's a question and an interrogative sentence, but most specifically, also you can think about alliteration of W, why and wanted. And now, here actually, then this character is really interesting because it's actually his simplicity. He, he's, um, to some degree, his foolish question, because of course, to outsiders, they'll say, well, of course, we're, we live in a segregated society, but it's actually his simplicity that allows him to ask a very simple question. And Steinbeck uses Lenny's character 
later to actually question and to reveal the stupidity of segregation and racial separation based on someone's skin color rather than the quality of the character and rather than anything else. It's just purely because of Crooks' skin color that he's completely separate. And then he doesn't quite understand this. So this is, whilst this question is really simple, what Steinbeck is doing is he's asking a very profound thing. He's asking, why should we see people who are African-Americans as different to us? just because they are a different skin shade to us. Seleni is used almost as that kind of mouthpiece through his very simple question. The final quotation, remember, for Lenny's character is when he finds, when George finds him, he's run off, he's killed Curly's wife. George finds him. He doesn't realise, of course, that George is planning to kill him. And Lenny essentially, like a child, says, I thought you was mad at me. Now here you want to focus on the pronoun you versus me, okay? Now here there's a separation in pronoun. Rather than him and George always being together, now this is the first indication of that separation and the first indication that they will be permanently separated. George is no longer able to look after Lenny and protect him from the outside world. And ultimately, of course, he asks this question before he is killed. So that's it when it comes to understanding key quotations for Lenny's character and the word level analysis that you need to do. And I would suggest but simply basically memorize is downloading the revision document that's part of this lesson and of course just memorizing these key quotations and considering the word level analysis. Thanks so much for listening.